Ministry Manager. Okay. Good. Okay, so now come here. I come and here. All right. Okay, so today we are going to make, oh, we'll try, I will try, I will try to make something. Um, I have these pictures over here. I want to use this one. Oh, it's super small. I'm going to be bigger. <laughs> I thought it's gonna be way bigger. Uh, maybe something over here. Maybe. Now I have this one and this one is an index. So image <coughs> mode RGB. I, I, I could make a better selection. Let me see if I can try to make. Yeah, something like this. What is the name of this brush? This one is. I don't know. What it doesn't say? And it doesn't say the shortcuts as well. B G uh, H is the hand, I know. B is the brush. W is the selective tool on I don't know. This one I don't know. Relief edge brush tool with R but in, in like in the normal tools or what it is like what it does oh I didn't see but that is interesting like I didn't know what is the name of that I use it all the time but I didn't know that this <laughs> I don't know any I get the name of that thing but never mind control control I control control chief I to inverse the selection and control J to take the selection inside you see to make a copy of the, like to make a new layer with the copy of the selection that you have so we have this one control c to to copy control b control c to copy control b okay to paste and we have these things and um well, yeah, the color. 
I need to change color balance. Well, actually, it needs to be way darker. So first, I guess I'm going to make it the bright and contrast, and clip the mask below and make it a little bit darker. I need to change, for example, the saturation because it's way, 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 way high. The saturation. Color balance of this one. We need. I want to be a little bit greenish, bluish, something like this, maybe not too much here, and now here in saturation, same thing, clip it, and well, the saturation I need to go down, and maybe a little bit darker, yeah, maybe down darker, but I'm gonna paint it back again here on top. Yeah. So with the masking tape that it makes the hue and saturation layer, and with the black brush, I'm just going to paint again the green, oh well, the grass. A little bit, not too much, because I want it to have like kind of of bait yeah so something like this is good maybe a little bit no. maybe a little bit smaller okay and to make a tree you can render a tree in photoshop actually you need a new layer without clipping Whoa. without clipping okay and you go to filter render tree so here you can basically change like uh, the light of the direction that means like how 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 up the, the tree is gonna be like the the branches is gonna go up as much as you put it like you see it's just going up 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 uh, the leaf amount well is the amount of leaves that you want you want a lot you just put a lot if you want nothing you can put it nothing that's pretty cool to make like ha a, a halloween effects on halloween trees because it's pretty hard to find a good uh, halloween tree and clean this kind of trees oh the branches are oh yeah pain in the ass so with this one you have a png tree with no leaves and a lot of branches and even you can change the branches like for example here you change oh well, the, this one is the leaf size sorry 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 here is the the weight the the height of the of of the branches so if you wanted to make it really really uh like a big tree from down to up uh, you put really low number here you see but if you win, you want a really thin tree like the the like the um, the branches go just to the top like a palm or something like this. Of course, it's not gonna. This is not like the effect of the palm. Uh, you just put it really high. And um, what else? Uh, I want a little bit of leaves, you know. Uh, Uh, well, the brush thickness is, is uh, you know what it means. Uh, the arrangement is actually you just change this number and give you a, a, another with the, with the value that you give already with this value, you give a, another random arrangement of the branches and the leaf and why not? Uh, so you just check which one do you like like which kind of form that you like this one is nice and if you this one is like an oak tree right but if you want a specific tree you can come here like base tree type and they have a lot of type like way a lot of types but i'm not gonna change it right now like this is up to you to to just um 
play around with it. Now, as you know, we have a perfect PNG file of a tree with the leaves and everything, and it's completely clean. You see, it's, 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 I don't know, man. This is just amazing. So now I just put it here. Uh, maybe here, a little, a little bigger. Yep, and I'm gonna take this tree, Control C, Control V, and clip all of them to make like something similar of 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 the vase. <laughs> and let me just check this one right here. Yeah. Just gonna put it back a little bit. This one, the same thing with a little bit of of. Like the opacity really low and a brush, a black brush, uh, and the layer of the saturation with the masking. Uh, you just paint over where you want to erase the effect. This, this in this case is, you see, in this case is the hue and saturation effect. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the on the leaves. Make it a little bit smaller, something like here, here, here. Not too much. Try to make clicks instead of of, of dragging the pencil. And with a white brush, like if you press Z, uh, X, uh, you change from the, the the two colors that you have here. So if you have the black and white, you just have to press X and white. A white to to paint back the effect and black to erase the effect. So just I want to erase a little bit the effect here in these areas. And that's it, this is good enough. Um Yeah okay. I wanna take from the vase like this one and take all the things and control G to group all the group all the the layers in, in one in one group and you let me see what we can do because actually we can put here above everything uh, let, let me see if it can works uh, levels yeah no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no levels, uh, curves, yeah, let's clip it, let me put one here, and one here, I'm trying to crush the, the blacks with, with the curve layer, so it have like it have the, the the effect of of haste like because all the like if you see in the background like all of these trees have that kind of effect so I want to make something like similar or well, at least something that gives me the idea of what I want to for now and I guess I'm going to copy and do the same with this this guy over here yeah boom 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 let me see hmm we put a lot of light but if I put just enough, it actually looks, it looks okay. I have to fix it later for sure, I have to put some kind of... Uh, haze or smoke or fog or anything, I don't know. Something on top to make it more... 
because it, right now it's too contrast right now as well with with this one so ah well maybe I can use the add crush more desaturation uh, let me go here Well, now that we have a little bit more, let me see if I can. Um, let me try another one because I just need to use a little bit. And uh, it bothers me a lot, you know. <laughs> it bothers me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, it really does. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm going to do something really cheap, but it could work. So let's try that. With Control, you select uh, the object that you have in the layer. So, for example, if you have, um, I, if you have, um, uh, sorry, my Control. So if you have like for example if you want to select just the the base the base of, of, of this the, the island or whatever you press control and you see that the the mouse the mouse change with, with the square the dots right and if you click it it's gonna make the selection of the object that is select uh, the object that is inside of the layer so now you can paint it or you can do anything that is just gonna affect the things inside of the layer, like this one, for example, you see. So if I paint here, it's just gonna affect this one. It's not gonna affect anything else that is not selected on on, on that layer. So I want to make it a little bit more hazy, but to make that happen. I need maybe a little bit more of his on top and not too much. Yep. Well, actually, it works. Not bad. And actually, I did it pretty randomly. But if you want to use the proper technique of this one, you you put the like the effect that you want to put m m in like. In the, the the most important area is in the um, where the light hits the object, so the effect have to hit more there, right? So, for example, here on on top on the grass and here the rocks that they have light, not too much here, but a little bit that it crush a little bit the blacks, so you have as well that effect on of 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 haze and now that I'm thinking I can make uh, yeah actually I can make a masking layer here you know and paint it with black uh, and yeah, with a soft brush and the opacity maybe a little bit lower I'm just gonna paint it the corners a little bit maybe so we have like we integrate a little bit more to, here is too much you see here I overdid it that's why you the opacity have to be quite low 
Okay. I like it. Actually, I could do the same with the tree. So, maybe a little bit less. This area need to fix it. Mm. Here I want just to make the defect around the tree, not too much inside. Maybe on the leaves, maybe a little bit, and a little bit here. Okay. Now it's starting to look something uh, a little bit more, you know. Uh, I want to put like this one it could be really nice actually the lamps but I wasn't looking for that I, I want uh, we can be well let's try with these three lamps it could be really nice. Like what I'm thinking, it, it, it could work. So now I'm going to try to clean this one. Not too too perfect because it actually it's gonna be pretty far away. So I just need the lamp here. Let's close this one. We can close this one. And we're working on. God damn it. Right now. Uh, wait, give me a second. Okay, now. Yeah, I freaking hate when that happened. Okay, so now I want. Maybe something small here, right? Yep, that could be really interesting to see. Chum, 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 chum. So after this sele select everything, Control Shift I to invert the selection, Control J to have a clean selection on what we have done, and with V you press it and Control C to copy and Control V to paste it. Now we let's put it. This one actually can be in the ground, you know. They could be really nice if it's in the ground. We, could, we, we can leave one in the ground. Uh, it could be really nice. Something there it could be. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's small. Like I said in the last. Oh, this is nice. As I said in the in the last uh, streaming, for this kind of things, details are the key. So. Just make it again, but let's put this one in the other side, maybe all the way here. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so uh, for this three we need two actually I want to group them as well 
call them lamps and let's call them island three uh, option and saturation clip it but I don't even need to clip it let me see I change everything if I know. Yep. I need to keep it. So actually I'm gonna just pretty dark. I'm looking at this one, right? Like this one. <laughs> uh just yeah, it doesn't matter the light later right we can put the light. Yeah, actually just with the situation of all of them black it is gonna be Good enough so instead of doing like in each layer uh here saturation layer and make this one instead of doing that you just uh, if you if you're sure that you want to change the color of something and you don't want to change it again because this is destructive unless you are using uh, a smart object that that's another advice that i give you Try to use everything and, uh, and convert everything to smart object. I don't do it because my laptop doesn't handle too much of that because that process requires a pretty good RAM at least or pretty good computer, you know. And, and it's kind of, yeah, and it, it's really good because you can after doing this kind of process you can re redo it again and change uh, stuff and blah, blah blah but in my case I cannot do it but if you can just do it um, after you convert the smart object you press ctrl u and that gives you the hue saturation panel but on the layer that you're working so you just colorize I want to colorize this thing uh, it black you know like all the way dark later I make the later I make the the colors I just want this one to be dark That's good enough. Okay, I need this one. Uh, I need to clean this one a little bit. Uh, I don't think I got a, a grass brush, but it, it would be really nice if I have a grass brush. I don't know, I don't have. Let me see if I have. I mean, look at yeah, grass. Let's have the grass. The grass. That will be really useful. <laughs> because I, know I don't need to make the shape of, of, of the grass on, on the lamp. You see? I just need to make with a black brush. I need to paint over this and it's done as easy as simple as that that's, that's why it's really nice uh, have a lot of brushes that's, that's another thing you know uh, because it gives you a lot of play like a lot of you can play a lot of with this thing uh, is this one right? Yeah. I want to put it a little bit down. Good. And just erase a little bit here. And that's it. That's cool. That's nice. I like it. 
<laughs> I need to make the reflection on the water. I know, I know. But let's do this one for 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 the end. Okay. Now let's make the fire light. So we need to use a solid color, maybe let's put it red first. Yeah. Really intense red liner touch and in the masking the the masking layer that it make the, the color fill we gonna invert that one with control I and we are gonna paint a little bit the light with a white brush here is the same like like the same technique of erasing with the white brush, uh, with the black brush, and that blah, blah blah blah. But this one is just inverse. You see? So if you click, just click a little bit, you're gonna have this kind of glossy effect. That's pretty nice. And when I do fire, I like to start with red a little bit. That is gonna be the first like the the, the 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 base color let's say <laughs> again yep and now I want to make another one solid color but in this case I want to make orange yep uh, we put it here, linear touch, and then control I. And the same thing, same, same thing. Just maybe a little bit smaller, because this one, you see, is the, 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 the inside part of the lamp. So it's, in 30, this is the, 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 the thing that gives the light but we are going to use another uh, color field to to make the that light Do you see like okay from far away you cannot see the, the effect but near is pretty nice so if you do that with fire and like you have the png fire fire or whatever and you want to increase the the highlights of that one you use this technique it's pretty simple so once more solid color but this in this case I want like a uh, yellow but a little bit more light same linear dutch control I to inverse and this one I want to make it a little bit bigger Even though it's a little bit greenish, so you're gonna change it here. I, I make the book click here and I just put it down a little bit. And you see, now we have beautiful, a beautiful effect. I want to raise maybe this one. A little bit. And now on the tree we can Hola Rosita And now on the tree we can do like a highlight as well We just need to new layer but click this one the layer with control uh, the, the layer where is the tree and on this layer you just want to paint well no, actually no I, I, I don't need to because I could paint it on yellow and change the blending mode but I can use this one as well I'm gonna use the yellow and just paint a little bit here that's it mm, as well with the branches paint it a little bit here where the light hits here, the leaves, 
a little bit uh, here this one this one a little bit mm -hmm. this one maybe a bit here and Control D to deselect everything and now you you can see actually the, the change with you see this is nice right okay to make it like pop more we 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 come here with oh sorry my eye is itchy oh and uh, we come here uh to the the background layer right and I want to use a Camaro filter so we press Ctrl Shift A I G Field please sponsor me man <laughs> I will love I need to drink uh, like two liters of water every day so okay <clears throat> Here uh, in basics, I'm just gonna a little bit, just put it a little bit the exposure down, a little bit, something like that. And maybe put a little bit of, of green tint with bluish, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and let's see. Ah. <laughs> you see now it looks way better uh, here you see I need to paint it back okay so this is a good thing that I realized that uh, I need to paint back this one I need to paint back this area here with white to erase the effect of haze a little bit here as well here it's pretty nice actually I like it I like it a lot and with the lasso tool actually we can take these parts here like and select them with B like you cut them right and Control C, con or oh, Control J, if you want to to make a copy of that, I guess is 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 possible. I guess. Uh, wait. Uh, no. Control V. Control T. This is like this one. Yeah, this is here, but I need to put it here. You see. <laughs> but I don't know why you cannot see it with this one with the effect on. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting to know. Uh, but yeah, you can put it, of course. You, you, you can put this. Take all of this and move it a little bit. You frame them. Control C. Control V. No, not this one. This one now, and I just put it above here. That's it. It's not like, uh, and you can change the orientation. Something like, could be something like this, you know. And just in the in the field layer here or slide, just put it down a little bit until it match with the scene. That's it. It's not complicated, it's pretty easy. Um I'm gonna go a little bit down. Maybe a little bit down so we can see it better. Yeah. Ah okay. That is nice. But I guess I need to do something that I don't want to do it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I need to make the reflection on this one. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disable the background and just take the layers where you see the island and the tree and the lamps and this and click control wait I'm gonna put it this one as well. I just need the PNG, that's it. And I'm going to put do, 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 Control Shift Alt E. I'm going to do it now. And it makes a, a, a like compile all the layers that that is visible on on the screen and it makes it, it and it just put it, all of them in a new layer it doesn't match everything like if you do control shift e so remember control shift alt e, e and it merge every layer that is visible on the on the screen i really hate the reflections like water reflections Okay, let's now let's change vertical because we need this. This is a pop. Why is all oh wait 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 give me a second. Ah, because the other layer as well is in different ways, yeah. The red now. Uh, okay, now, I change the, I, I, I make a copy of the island and everything. And I just control T. Well, let, 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 let's do it, everything again. Uh, just let me change this one to normal. Uh, normal, okay. Here we have the selection of we have the new layer of of of, of the tree and island and everything. So, Control T to to like select the tree, but like the transform selection thing. Shit. <laughs> and I just flip vertical and just put it down and. Again, uh, right click and just put perspective. And I'm just gonna put it a little bit like this lower here, make it here nice. Uh, now, I need to put a little bit more of right here. Later, we'll do this. And now, uh, I want to try it, something that I see here. Render, no, 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 pixel noise, uh, distort wave. Okay, this is new for me. I don't know. I don't have F idea how to use this one, but. Let's play with it. Okay, the scale is a lot. Maybe let's put a little bit down. Not too much. This one maybe yeah, a little bit something like this. Oh shit, no more. Let's see. Uh, I could make it better. Let's try again. Uh, Distort wave. Mm. So, is this one? No. This one it makes it. Ah, amiga. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, like the distortion, like the wave distortion. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. This is cool, this is cool. Maybe this here and more here. Let's put it maybe here. And let's make it. Yeah, could work. Well, I mean, it could be worse. One more time. Uh, the surf wave. It's too much. <laughs> Let's try this one. Eh, good enough. Okay, so now I go into Control L and just put it black. That's it. Now change the mode to something that it works a little bit more. This one I like it. Oh, that soft light. It could be. Uh, it's gonna be soft light, okay. So now soft light, the opacity way lower. Something like this one. And last but not least, a Gaussian blur. That it makes a little bit more. Like for example, in this case, if I if I could put the the smart object and everything and I I can make that the Gaussian blur for example doesn't affect the entire thing or the the levels it doesn't affect the entire thing so is 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 way 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 easier to work with uh, a smart object but well one day I'm gonna find a I'm gonna get a good computer now I'm going to make a layer here because I want to raise with a brushed black. I want to erase, erase, erase this areas here. Yes, yeah, good. And as well now with the opacity like five, I'm going to raise pretty much the lower part of the of the of the reflection because you need to make sure that as close as as well with the shadow as close uh, is the same with the reflection as close as the the reflection it is of the of the of the object the stronger it is so for example here we want to raise a little bit more of this area here this is a little bit too harsh and I want I want I want a copy of this Yeah, we have this one. You see, it's a good thing that we have this one too. So now we put it up right here. We just need to move it here. Put way lower. And the Gaussian blur. But less, not too much. Yep, something like that. Details. <laughs> uh, we can 
even we even we can copy this shit, you know. Can put it here. Uh, this one it needs to be in like on this right. And even though it has to be a little bit oh, like that and like that and a little bit bigger. Yep. <laughs> and now with the copy of this one, I'm just gonna take this thing. I'm just going to wait or this one from a vertical. I just put it here and this one even worse of the view same with this one details nice okay so let's group up everything again and let's put this one reflection Yeah, this one is it. Now with the lamps, I want to make solid color, it's yellowish, linear touch, change. Uh, let's be lose a lot of. I think it's a little bit more. Fresh, maybe. And a little bit more of orange over here. That's true. I need to paint the grass. I need to paint the grass a little bit. But Yellow. That is nice. I need to make it this uh, I need to make it a night night uh, night uh, landscape that's good for not No, it doesn't match. Nice. This is the problem of an editor. <laughs> when people say that this is easy, uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the saturation. Rock. 
Nope, not the right ones. Uh, I'll call it a lock. I have to. Because if not, uh, I won't be available to. to I won't be able to, to, to merge everything together. I need to colorize. Now it's starting to look nice a bit. <laughs> there is nothing. I need to change it again. And we need to finish. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I want to put something up. I don't know what to do. Let me check something if I can. That's it. Okay. 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 I'm back again. Cool. I, I, I don't know if I want to paint this part like darker, you know, like the tree. I want to paint it a little bit black. This top, like, paint it. Maybe, you know, maybe it, it will be. Because. If the lights is project like we have like light sources here, right? So it's, it's it's logical that the top that doesn't have light is way darker. So I need to paint it black, I guess. Well, black and a different uh, mold, I guess. I, I will try it something like that. This is the island. I need the tree. This is the tree, right? So I want to make another one. Select this one. And with the brush, let's try to paint this a little bit darker. Maybe. Mm. to do it again. Maybe yes, but no on this layer. Maybe I need to make it here all above everything. So try to of course it's gonna be really dark, but let me try to change maybe I guess again with uh soft light and just put it back a little bit. Yeah, just give a little bit more of like of realism to the tree, like much a little bit more. And uh, now I was looking for chain. 
Yeah, we have pure chains. Chain, 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 chains. Oh, I think I have to do that. Chain, change, change, change. Uh, I forget. I forget. Completely. My English is completely broken. Se llama es más Spanish. Oh, it's a PNG. This is really nice. I don't need to clean it. And this is okay. Enough. We can remove this one. We can remove this one. And we paste this one here. Actually, hmm. Let me try to do something in perspective. Ah, no, 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 in, pers in perspective, no, 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 no. But, like this. Yes, something like this. Ah, uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I will fix it, but it could work. It could work. So let me, let me, let me, let me try this one in the other side. Okay. Okay. Um. Levels. Let's put it first. Make it dark, way, way, way darker. Black change. Chains. I guess I did it, I said it right there. Chain. Chains. Okay, so now color right. Clip it. Blue. Saturation. <laughs> I guess. And I'll do the same with this one. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Put it right here. Right, sorry. Not this one. Okay. It, it could. It, it can be, you know, like it is not a bad idea. Okay, so now with chain, I'm gonna make just. This one I need a, a really hard brush because I need to clean really hard these areas here and paint it back a little bit more because there you go and later I need to to make a hole where these chain chains uh, go through. So here could be the hole, and here it's yep. There it could be. Yep. Uh, there. Now uh, above everything, I want to make small. No, with <laughs> a soft brush, please. And again, above everything. Uh, let's change a little bit the perspective of the brush, right? Get something like like this, right? Yep. And this one a little bit more here. Don't worry. Later I fix it. Later I fix it. It's okay. Later I fix it. Everything is fixable. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Fix this shit. Okay, good. Now with a normal brush, and opacity a little bit lower, and masking layer. 
just make a little bit as a really irregular form just need to be so precise same here you need to be really precise good but think I need to do the freaking reflections of this one too Chains. I make this one and I make this one. Let me make it smaller. And I flip it. No, not flip it like this. Flip it like a ring. So on, I make it. Jesus Christ. The problem is. Okay, no, there is no problem. I can, I can, I can. <laughs> just give me a second. Let me just put this one here. Yeah. And I just need to make a masking. And for real, I need to mask this shit out. Right, and now let's put on this one a brush. Uh, here we can combine everything because this is just a reflection. We can just combine everything here. Merge. Uh, yep. Uh, filter. Uh, Gaussian blur. A little bit more. And. Um, Tada! We have the chains. <laughs> of course, I need to fix this area, but don't worry, I, I'm going to. I'm going to do it. Okay, so now I need to make one above everything. I paint here, I paint here, right? But if I merge everything in one layer and select the layer and then Yeah, I need to do that. Uh, and on this way, you're going to paint a little bit. Dark, not that is strong, and with a soft brush, I want to paint a little bit the change of dark. Uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. It's okay, it's okay. Here I need to be over even if this has to be dark. This is this one has to be. Don't worry, later, don't worry, don't worry. Everything is okay, everything is fine. You need to you don't need to worry about anything. That's true. That's true. Uh, the reflection of the change is backwards. That's it. <laughs>
Um, I do have birds or anything, right? Animals! What do I have? I have waterflies, that's it. I don't have nothing else. I have a ghost. Uh, I have branches as well. I don't have animals, unbelievable. Okay. I'm just gonna use these ones. Uh, mod, RGB mod, Ctrl J to make a copy, lasso tool, make a rough selection, and with B, I move it. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Right, it's not PNG. Ctrl I and Ctrl R. Now, now that is a PNG, with this lasso tool, move it, and we have a selection. But actually, we can move everything, you know, it doesn't need to be individual we can move all of this and put it uh, control B uh, on top of everything uh, not, not that big <laughs> maybe we could put some 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 of these ones here polarize saturation down and way darker way way darker and feel as well really low maybe a little bit slow it's smaller and this one needs to be I need to move could be there or it could be like I make them as way smaller and make them here you know uh, it actually looks nice let me take a couple of these ones can I take this one can I take this one are you telling me that I gotta take this one I'm gonna take this tree, Ctrl C, Ctrl B, Ctrl U, polarize, saturation down, this one as well, put it down, the size with Ctrl T, move it, and maybe just change the orientation. Yeah, they're pretty big. <laughs> they're really, really big and mods or butterflies, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> they're really, really big. And you cannot see them, but it's okay. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, I guess I need something like a fuck a fuck I need a fuck oh. this one like this Good. let me just put with the fog I like to make like 100% and opacity and everything and later I I change the 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 opacity of the box. So I like this one. Maybe a little bit dark. A little more darker. Too dark for now. There you go. And the chains. I need 
to make, I guess I'm going to make something like here. And just like, like, like trying to hide something. <laughs> um, now let's start editing the picture. This is the composition. <laughs> This is just the, comp the like the entire composition of the picture. But now let's start to edit it. Now that we have everything and we like how it looks like and everything, we press Ctrl Shift Alt E to merge everything and make it in a new layer and that we have here. And we press Ctrl Shift I again to make a camera row. And with this beautiful thing here, for I like to do this one. Let me just go a little bit bigger. Okay. Here we can see the before and after. So here now I don't want to increase the exposure, but maybe the contrast a little bit. The highlights I want to increase it. The shadows I want to decrease it then make a little bit more no I want to put this one as well whites really low but blacks a little bit higher clarity I like to play with this one because I like to use the clarity a little bit high to make a little bit more crispy the image but put the, the dehaze a little bit more this is the haze basically this is uh, weird haze that Photoshop does. Like it just increases the, the light or the shadows. It doesn't do much. I like to play a little with this one. Uh, with the saturation, I don't want to play a little, like not that much. Maybe, well, no. Not because the, in the curves we are gonna do this one. This one is pretty fun. I'm gonna put one here, one here, and two here. Boom. Now I'm gonna need to increase a little bit here. Maybe decrease a little bit the the shadow. Eh, the shadow, the sky, like the saturation of the sky. And here you see here you don't need to much much eh, move that much this point, but with this one you can crush. You see you can crush the blacks. So I want to crush a little bit the blacks here. And now we jump to the reds. It's not necessary to make it all the all the curves, like all the colors, but I like the effect it does when you mix the red, green and blue. Like for example here, it's gonna be really nice if I put a little bit of greenish on the sky, but a little bit of magenta on the on the shadow on the yeah and the shadows highlights. You see, this is shadows. That that well, this is a little bit too much. Let me just put it here. Here. Yeah, this is nice. And now with the yellows. I like to crush a lot the greens when when they have greens with the yellows. I like because it gives a really nice effect. Yeah. Maybe here I can put it a little bit more. Yep, something like that. I like it. Uh, color mix. Well, mm, not really. This one you use it more for pictures, for photography, not for photo manipulation. Well, in my case, I like to use maybe a little bit of vignette, a small vignette. And the calibration, this is nice sometimes if you play if you play with this one. Uh, let me see, let me see. 
uh, more green or more blue more green then here you're gonna change yep I want maybe maybe a little bit more bluish here and here you're gonna change yeah this one is gonna change a lot because the main the main picture is blue yes so you can see the before and after you see this is I like to to crush more the the darks even if you you want to leave it like this is fine you know this is a perfect uh, finished picture you don't need to do that much but I like to make this kind of dramatic look in my pictures with these mute tones so I like this effect and actually I was thinking that maybe we could do something else with a uh, effect that I have here I don't have effects at all but maybe with this guy with the stars in the sky uh, I'm going to put this one colorize saturation really really dark maybe levels to write a little bit the 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 white the whites yeah like this is fine and now change into screen and now you have like these small dots all over the place it's up to you if you want to put it you see you have now all of these dots all over the place. You can put the smaller if you want. You just have to change. Maybe use one a little bit here instead. You see, maybe you don't want it all over the place. Maybe just here. And maybe I want to just around the tree. So I'm just gonna take a masking tape and a masking tape, a masking layer, and I'm just gonna brush there is that I don't want, especially the corners. And here I'm just going to brush a little bit softer all of these areas here. And now we have a small effect small dots you see really small dots around the tree and that's it it's important to sign your work so remember to find a typography that you like and make something like this it's really simple and really fast to do it if, if you can make your own signature that's gonna be really we like di digitalize your signature is gonna be really signature 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 I cannot say it is gonna make you your work like put a, a bit more of, of like a professionalism of course don't make it like really big and make it almost faint with the environment Um, I guess that's it. So what do you think? Hmm? We start with let me let me click let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me compile all of this actually all of this Ctrl G and let me open the original picture that it can be this one right So we we'll start with this picture. Let me see if I can make it like 
the same picture that, that I, I used here. This one. But something like that. So we have this one, right? As the original picture, and we transform it to this thing. Eh, could be better. Yes, of course. Could be worse. Of course, it can be worse. But the important thing is just put shit out there. Doesn't matter if it's good or it's bad. Just keep going and keep creating that that's the thing of this just keep going and yeah just keep creating these kind of things okay so I guess this is everything for today um, I'm gonna finish the stream for now uh, and I'm gonna upload this one on YouTube and you can you can subscribe to my YouTube channel that is the same as my Twitch the Rick part of photography and as well, my uh, Instagram is the same, record, Rick part of photography. Um, uh, there is a TikTok with my name that I use it, but it's like, the, like the the, the, <laughs> the what is the name? The the speed run of of these kind of things. So <laughs> I do these videos like an hour stream and all this, and I condense everything. In one minute, but I'm not I'm I'm not explaining anything like here. I'm just putting everything on fast forward because it's too much to explain. Um, but you can follow me in anything if you want to check what I'm doing. And the next time, like the last, the last uh, streaming we did, uh, we did uh, this thing. We create. This one, there was a photo uh, no, it wasn't a photo manipulation, it was a retouching of a cosplayer. So I teach you how to, to, to clean the skin and, and make this kind of effects on the eyes and the lips and blah, blah, blah. And that, uh, that tutorial is, that the streaming is already uploaded on my, uh, on my YouTube channel if you want to check it. Um, Okay guys, thank you for everything, I will see you in the next one, and yes, bye.